are so many different layers and levels to listening. Listening is one of the most powerful leadership tools you could ever cultivate. When people ask me what my superpower is, I tell them it's listening. Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host, Ashley Gordon, Master Mindset and Manifestation Biz Coach and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. Together, we'll make magic your everyday normal by bringing you the highest vibe content to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation and mindset tools, teachings, and bomb experts to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Here's the quantum transformation, baby. Say it with me. Let's do this. Welcome to the Upleveled Badass Manifestor podcast. Ah, I'm freaking out. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. We did it. We upleveled the cover. We upleveled our music, the intro, the outro. I am so beyond stoked because I can't even tell you, like, just behind the scenes, to be honest, TBH. I was so over the podcast cover, I couldn't even with it anymore. (laughs) I love being tagged and I get tagged all the time in it. And I'm just like, this cover, it needs to go. (laughs) So I hope you're loving all the new vibes of the podcast. I know I am. And just from an energetic standpoint, having, you know, the visuals in alignment with the brand and the sounds in alignment with the brand and the community, it's like really, really important. So I'm so grateful and excited and of course solo episode means I get to shout out someone from our community that left a review. If you haven't yet left a review on iTunes, it would mean the world and you may get a shout out. So I'm going to actually do two shout outs today. One to Kelly Craig, shout out girlfriend. She said five stars, wow, that's all I can say. I found this podcast because the universe knew I needed it. That's my favorite. I found it at a time I was really lost and confused, feeling like a fraud. In a short amount of time, Ashley has provided me with resources to change all the things I needed to change in order to get me to a place of receiving through her words. Oh my God. Not only are her and her perspective, but this podcast brings many brilliant souls into one place for all that for all of us to benefit from. And um, she has more beautiful things to say, but I'll just say her last line, which is this podcast is dreams coming to life, fireworks, lights, and sirens. Drop what you're doing and listen. All the feels, incredible. It's life-changing. Wow. Oh my gosh. Kelly Craig, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening and for saying that about all of my guests. I feel that way about them too. So that's really special. Thank you so much. And then the other shout out I want to give is to Michaela Wooldridge. Got it. Amazing five stars. <laughs> I've been listening to this podcast for a few weeks now thanks to my friend Kirsten. Shout out Kirsten. I've struggled with anxiety and depression for years and every time I listen to an episode, I come out with a clearer vision for myself. I'm grateful for this podcast and the way it's changing my life. Wow. Ashley and her guests are absolutely amazing. Also recommend following her on Instagram. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Michaela. Thank you, Kelly. If you would like a shout out, you know what to do. Go leave the five stars. Go tell me how you feel. And I can't wait to call you out in the best way possible. Okay, so today's episode, we're diving into leadership because right now we're in quarantine. We're at this weird time, this beautiful time, this enlightening time, this awakening time. There's so many different ways I describe this time. And guess what? It's time to step the F up, y'all. It's time. If you thought it was time before and you weren't doing it, well, guess what? I'm here to kick you in the butt and maybe punch you in the face. No, I won't. I won't punch your pretty face. But seriously, it is time to step up as a leader. The problem that I see is that a lot of people don't consider themselves a leader. That is a problem. And today, I want to give you five ways to step more into being a leader. How does that sound? Yes. These are going to be actual. These are going to be actionable, actually. Really actionable ways. And I just want you to know that there is a leader inside of you. And she is ready to emerge. And there might even be a coach inside of you. 
And there's definitely a light inside of you. And leadership, it truly happens in very small moments. And I'll give you an example. So before I ever found yoga, which was the thing that changed the trajectory of my entire life, that took me from, you know, jack of all trades, working in real estate, being miserable, to being full on in my purpose, was the moment that someone invited me into the yoga studio. And the universe and God tried to invite me before, but I wasn't ready. I didn't listen. You know, there's been other invitations. But it was this one time in particular where the circumstances were just right, where I was a little bit tipsy, (laughs) actually. And I agreed, like someone challenged me to go to yoga the next day. It was, she was, I didn't really know, I don't know her that well. I know, I know her. She's someone that I know, but she's not like a very close friend or she, I consider her an acquaintance. And we were just hanging out and she was like, you would love yoga. Like, I challenge you to meet me there tomorrow. And I was like, oh, okay. And we like shook on it. And it was kind of just like in that moment, I was like, I have to go. And so I went to the yoga class and I sat there on my mat waiting for this girl to walk in. And we even Facebook messaged the next day. I was like, you going? She's like, yep. I'm like, okay, cool. This time? She's like, yep. So I go to class and I'm sitting there and I'm, I see the, the, the clock is ticking. It's almost like time to start, 7 p.m. She doesn't even show up. And I was like, okay, like whatever. I'm here. Okay, cool. So she invited me into that yoga class. She never even showed up. And that class changed the, the entire trajectory of my life because it was the start of me connecting with myself in a way that I never have before. Maybe you have a similar story. And the point of this is that in that moment, she was a leader in my life. She led me somewhere. And she had no idea, right, over the years that that invitation had such an impact on me. And I only remember that because I thought about it. You know, what are moments in my life that have changed the entire direction of my life that I wasn't even aware of. And maybe that other person wasn't even aware of. How cool is that? And I thought of that moment. And of course, like I told her, I wrote her this whole long thing and I thanked her. And that is how leadership happens in small moments because you're already doing it. You're already doing it. You do it for people all the time and you don't even know it. So... I want to help you step into it. I want to help you elevate yourself because guess what? More people are going to need you. And I can't even tell you how many people have been DMing me being like, listen, Ashley, I listen to you. I love everything you share. I've been following you for a while and I'm ready to be a coach. I'm like, whoa, what? that's so awesome. Like coaches are coming out of the woodwork And it doesn't surprise me because we are all here to help people and we're just figuring out how we're supposed to, you know, how we're specifically meant to do that. I'm going to share more about um, a confession that my client left me in the DMs in a little bit, but I want to get into these steps for you. So five ways to step more into being a leader, okay? Let's do it. Let's own it. Number one, you have to honor and hone and own your message with certainty, right? So no matter what your message is, no matter if you're not a coach, if you're, you know, if you're not a public figure, it like, it doesn't fucking matter. You need to own your message, especially right now. And what I mean by that is you might have some inspiration that wants to come through. You might have a message to tell somebody in your life. And I don't want you to question what wants to come through right now or ever, because what wants to come through is supposed to come through. So you have to own that with certainty, whether you're talking to a friend, whether you're talking to an acquaintance, whether you're talking to a boss, a coworker, or online, if you're putting yourself out there, do not question what wants to be channeled through you now or ever. So once you start to own and hone your message and trust it, you're going to start to have more of those moments where you're impacting people's lives And you might not even be aware of it, but you're doing it because you are trusting your message, okay? Everybody is a messenger. Everybody, every physical body is a messenger. So that's number one, hone and own and honor. Honor, hone, and own your message. 
okay? Number two, to step more into your leadership, you have to stand tall in your physiology. I want you to start to pay attention to how you're carrying your body. Are you slouched? Are you hunched? Are you like arching your back too much? Are you like squeezing your belly in too much? Like what are you doing in your body? How are you holding your hands? Are they crossed? Are they relaxed by your side? How are you carrying yourself and how are you speaking? What is your voice sounding like? Is it strong or is it soft and meek? Is it insecure? Is it powerful? Right? There's so many different ways we can own our physiology and really noticing the way that you carry yourself is important because it holds energy. Your physiology holds energy. How does a leader stand? I want you to think of any leader that you've ever met. How do they carry themselves? What is it about them that, that is, makes you drawn to them, that makes you say, they're a leader, like they stand out. It's because they're not backing down. It's because they're not afraid to be seen. And when we carry our physiology in, in such a way that we empower ourselves, we feel like we are okay with being seen. And that's a big part of it. So that's number two. Stand tall in your physiology. Number three, fine-tune your listening. Okay? Leadership isn't always about being the one talking or in front of the house, right? Being the person on stage. It's equally as important to know how to powerfully hold space as it is to speak, right? Holding space is a skill all on its own and there's so many different layers and levels to listening. Listening is one of the most powerful leadership tools you could ever cultivate. When people ask me what my superpower is, I tell them it's listening because I really do feel like if I can listen long enough, I can help people connect the dots in a much more powerful way. And I know as a coach, when I'm in a session, what's, what processes and skills and coaching techniques I need to put in place after I listen for a solid amount of time. Because if I'm not listening, then how the freak am I supposed to know what to do? You know? And when I say listening, I don't mean listening so I can quickly respond. I mean I am hearing every single word that comes out of that person's mouth. Word for word. I encourage you to try this with your with the people in your life, with your family, with your mom, with your dad, with your brother, with your sister, with your kids. Just listen. Because you know what? People just want to be heard. They don't necessarily want an answer. They don't necessarily want to be fixed. So listening is such a powerful leadership tool. Okay, we're moving right along. That was number three, fine-tune your listening. Number four is commit to never arriving and having a growth mindset. You know, I can't tell you how many times I've had clients who come to me and we find that there's so much inner work that needs to be done. And that's after they've already done five years of inner work. And they're like, but I've just done all this work. Guess what? The work never ends. That happened to me too. I went to a spiritual healer and I uncovered all this stuff that needed to be worked through and looked at and healed. And I was feeling like so mad and sad and not good enough. I'm like, none of the work I did was good enough on myself. It just, it felt like it was for naught. But that's not true ever, right? Every single piece of work that you do on yourself is only going to move you forward and help others and commit to never arriving. I had to get really flat with that. Like, I'm never going to arrive. There's always going to be work to do. So commit to that. Never arriving and having a growth mindset. Being a leader, it's a journey. It's not a destination. It's not like, okay, one day I'm a leader. It's like, no, you already are a leader and it's just a journey, right? There's nowhere to actually go, but it's always to grow, right? There's nowhere to go, just grow. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Oh my God, that all rhymes. There's nowhere to go, just grow. There you go. Okay, maybe that doesn't rhyme so much, but we'll just go with it. (laughs) Okay, number five, probably one of my faves. Remind the people around you that they're leaders too. And I want you to empower them to be that, okay? It's not just about you being a leader. Look at me, I'm a leader. 
it's really about rising together. And I really truly believe in this so much. That's why you see all those Shaken to Awaken episodes on the podcast. That's because those are the ladies in my business mastermind, my Manifest Max Impact Mastermind. It's my business development mastermind where I help you really develop your business so you can develop so you can manifest your max impact. Anyway, another commercial on that later, but it's really important to me as a leader to elevate the leaders that I attract into my business. So these women are absolutely incredible and I wanted to give them a platform to use their gifts. So we did this whole thing in Badass Manifestor Facebook group. It was completely free. There was no opt-in, no email, no nothing. And they were able to just shine and share and build their audience by doing that. And then I put them on the podcast to elevate them even more. And I do that because we rise by lifting others. Like that's it. And it's it's not just about me changing the world. It's about we changing the world together. I can't do it on my own, y'all. I can't. And I don't want to, right? I need you and we need each other to shine our light collectively. Now more than ever. I'm getting emotional. I'm like tearing up right now. So yeah, it's really important. Um, so that's that's five ways to step more into being a leader. One. Honor, hone, and own your message. Two, stand tall in your physiology. Three, fine tune your listening. Four, commit to never arriving. Five, remind the people around you that they're leaders too. Because we truly do rise by lifting others. And you know, stepping up as a leader, it's not always easy. Right? You know this. We've talked about this. It can be vulnerable and it can be scary. But it doesn't have to be when your vision is and your why trump all the judgments and all the fears. So if you don't know what your vision is or what your why is behind wanting to help others, like there's more to that, wanting to help others. There's more. There's more there. And so I want you to get curious about that with yourself and just trust that you are a leader and that leadership happens in small moments every single day and if you're listening to this I can guarantee 100% that you are one you are one so I would love to know as you listen to this and you tag me on Instagram tell me which number really resonates the most with you I'm really really curious and just to kind of circle back to what I shared earlier about people reaching out to me past clients reaching out to me telling me like they're ready to be coaches I, I really believe and feel like that is just the ultimate compliment because people are inspired by what they see is possible. And, you know, I was like blown away. I got this message the other day. It's on my Instagram actually. And I said, when your client confesses to you in the DMs, And she told me that she's ready to step up into her true calling as a coach. And she was hysterical. And this is not the first message this past week I've gotten like this. And, you know, sharing with someone that you know that you're meant to be a coach or insert anything that you know you're meant to do in that, like, coach, you know, fill in the blank. It's one of the scariest and freeing experiences ever. Am I right? Like... It really is. It's so exhilarating and yet it's so terrifying because, you know, coaching is a calling. It really is. It's a calling. And a calling is that which pulls you forward. A calling doesn't leave you alone. You know, you feel it in your soul. It's undeniable, but, you know, a lot of times when we step into whatever your calling is, it comes with a lot of self-doubt. And that's so normal. I just want you guys to know like it's so normal. But that self-doubt needs to be worked out in order to serve the world. You know? And it was hard for me to admit that to myself when I discovered that I was meant to be a coach. I remember it so clearly. I was sitting with my friends in the yoga studio. And I remember like how I felt in that moment. I was, my palms were sweating. My heart was pounding. I was so nervous. We were doing angel cards and it was my turn. I was reading the angel cards and I was like, I know what this is about. 
and I was interpreting my cards and I was so nervous. I was like, I think I'm supposed to be a coach. Like I want to step into this because when I first had the thought of being a coach, I was, I only told my husband and I never told anybody else. I was like a coach in the closet. (laughs) And so now I kind of help coaches come out of the closet. It's kind of funny. Um, But yeah, it was really hard for me to to admit because I was so scared of judgment and rejection. Like I thought that they would be like, nah, like I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but the reaction was very much so like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Duh. (laughs) It's just there's so much uncertainty that comes with saying it out loud for the first time. And so my client who DM'd me and she made this confession she was like, it feels so good to say this for the first time. Like, if you want to watch the video, it's I I, re- I screen recorded it and I got her permission. And um, it's in the post. But it's just, that's the thing, you know, about realizing your true purpose. You have to actually step into it. You have to actually do something about it. And there is no better time to take control of your destiny than right now. And I'm encouraging you to run with the gut urges that you have right now. This is the time to go inward. This is the time to reevaluate. This is the time to look and say, what's in alignment and what's not? It's as simple as like a small, small micro example of this is exactly what I did with the podcast. What's in alignment with the podcast and what's not? Okay, the cover, the sound, the intro, the outro, None of that's in alignment anymore. My audience, amazing. My listener, like like so much of the podcast is so in alignment. It's growing and it's growing. But there's some pieces that are not in alignment. And you have to do the same thing with your life. What's in alignment and what's not. And I really like want to say to you that, you know, you wouldn't have the desire to step up as a leader, to step up as a coach, to step up as fill in the blank if you didn't have what it takes to truly make a difference and help others. You have this, you know, desire for a reason. Like when I first started attracting people who wanted business coaching from me, because I started as a spiritual life coach, manifestation coach. And now I do that, but I do it for business and I do it for coaches And when people first started coming to me for business, I was like, I don't like, am I, is this, is this meant for me? Like that wasn't what I was doing. And I talked to my friend who's a coach and she said, if they're coming to you, it's meant for you. And I was like, okay, um, all right. Like if it's coming to you, you can handle it. And I feel the same way about the purpose. It's like, if you have that desire and that calling, it's, it's meant for you. You can't ignore a calling. You can try. Like I tried for a little while because I was so scared to admit it. I'm like, "Uh, I'll just, you know, I'll just forget about that desire to be a life coach. But I couldn't forget about it. It like, it was just relentless. And so the question then becomes, like, what if you actually trust it? What if you were to trust your desire? What if you were to trust in the calling, in the whisper in the voice that's so soft and it's so sweet and it's so pure and that's how you know because the other voice of fear of rejection and judgment that's loud that's a loud voice and that voice tries to you know be louder than the whisper but the whisper always seems to be there and What if you actually trusted it? So with that being said, I just want to encourage you to step into your leadership. I want to encourage you to trust your gut. I want to empower you to take action on whatever dream is surfacing for you. And I know it's an uncertain time, but it really never is a certain time. No matter what's going on in the world, we never have certainty. What is the one thing that's always been constant in your life the one thing everything changes everyone changes but what's the one thing that's always been constant what is it it's you you're the constant you're 
energy, your consciousness. You can't escape it. It's you. It always was you and it will always be you. The leader and the master of your life, of your energy. So what you gonna do about it, baby? Mm. <laughs> Hope you loved today's episode. If you did, let me know. Show me some love. Share it with someone that you know would love it too. And I have an invitation for you. And the invitation is, is if you are ready to be a coach and create massive ripples of awakening in the world, I have created the Quantum Coaching Academy, QCA, for you. And it's a six-month coaching and leadership certification program to give you the tools you need to be an amazing coach and create amazing transformation for your clients and to stand out and be an industry leader with skills and tools that marry spirituality, manifestation, foundational coaching tools, advanced coaching tools, mixed with neuro-linguistic programming, NLP, EFT, and so much more. So the first round of this program is a beta round only with private invitations, which are going out right now. And the program is already half full. So I want you to email me right away, manifestwithash at gmail.com if you are interested in learning more. We'll see if it's the right fit. And I can send you the official invitation. So there's about 10 spots left, just so you know. So the first round, just to be clear, it's not free. It's a beta round. It will be significantly less than it will be when it's launched publicly. But right now, it's just being launched by invitation only for the first round. So make sure that you reach out ASAP. I'm not even like joking with you. The spots are going to fill up probably within the next week. So I'm really beyond excited for it. It's going to be a life-changing certification program. And to top it off, there's going to be three days, three or four days that are going to be in person because I need to meet you and I need to hug you. And we're going to do the work and learn in person and have invaluable time together that's going to change your life and change all the people that you're going to help and serve. So if this is your calling, I am so excited to serve you. Make sure you email me right away. And if you are still trying to figure out your calling, I have something to help you with that as well. And right now, it's $100 off on my website. It's called Create Your Life on Purpose. And it is a course to help you connect to your calling so you can find your purpose. And the link will be in the show notes for that too. I love you guys so much. Stay safe. Stay cool, be in joy, create your own abundance bubble, turn the freaking news off, and I'll talk to you next week. Mwah. Woo! We did some work today because that is how we roll. Thank you so much for listening. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too. How can you support the show? Make sure you're subscribed, hit those five stars. And leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. It truly means the world to me. I love being part of your real-time journey. So screenshot this episode and tag me on IG at Manifest With Ash. Say with me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my own energy. I deserve everything I desire. Now go get them. <laughs>